The thumbnail you're seeing right now on screen is the exact thumbnail I used in the tutorial. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make that exact same thumbnail. Every single detail is in the video. So if you guys like it, if you guys think it looks stunning like I do, then I suggest you guys watch the video till the end. I'll see you guys after the intro. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Azab, and I hope you all are having a phenomenal fine day today. Today is literally 7.30 a.m. Haven't slept today, but I'm still making this tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how you guys can make epic thumbnail like this one. This is actually uh, the actual thumbnail in the video, so we're not gonna be demonstrating how to do this one, but we're gonna be demonstrating how to do a similar thumbnail style that I'll, uh, I'll be teaching you guys today. So you guys see like the guy over here, the emoji, and then you see like this white little effect the text effect looks very very neat it looks clean it looks professional and you can see like the little thumbnail like kind of style at the uh, at the end and here with a low opacity so we're gonna learn that together and uh, and yeah let's get right into it please drop a like because this is my first ever tutorial drop a like and drop a subscribe if you're new here you guys expect more of these tutorials soon I have two more thumbnail styles tutorials coming soon so guys please subscribe and like if you guys are new here all right regardless let's get into the tutorial so the first one the uh, first thing you guys want to do is go into Google Chrome or go into the link in the description which uh, which has this link right here and then you just just want to press download uh, it's called the video project just as up and uh, and yeah so you just want to go to that link and you when you go to it you download it and then when you download you should see a file like this one that is coming right here so you guys should see this file right here it's called the video project just as up thumbnail dot PSD you want to double click on it and then you just want to close this okay so this is something else so you guys just want to click on it and then when you open it it should look something like this or literally like this right away so right now the first thing I want to do is just control group those because that's really don't not needed at the moment because I really dislike it and then over here this is just like the lightning so just add this those two together good by pressing control E to merge them and then with this I just lower the opacity we don't need that at the moment because this is just like some useless effect that we do not need at the moment first thing I like to do is turn the hue and saturation and make it match something I want to look for so maybe if you guys want yellow if you guys want green this would also be good if you guys like are are gonna be consistent with this thumbnail style and keep on doing it so you guys might want to change the colors every now and then or in every single video for this video sake I'm gonna go for like a nice I don't know like a nice pink lime no lime would be good uh, I, I really don't know okay I'm gonna be going with a nice a nice purple all right so let's go with purple and then press control and then merge those two together now we have our our actual background which is all good now you want to press T which is the text and you want to get a nice font for the font I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using the font Pepsi if you guys want to go download it go to defont.com I'm not gonna link it in the description because this might not be the font you guys want to look for so for this tutorial's sake I'm gonna write something like uplink uh, I don't know uh, let's write cod a W so let's write card a W and then you just want to like make it big somewhat big so you can like notice it and then uh, you want to type in uplink so you guys want to type in three words that's what really kind of m works out for me so like one word on the top one word in the middle and one word a word at the very very last at the end of the, which is the third one the middle one you guys want to emphasize so that way you make it into a different font so for the different font I'm gonna use a font I really like it's called the long shot so it looks pretty cool if you guys want to go download it again it will be on uh, on the font it's called lo long shot and then you make it big because you're emphasizing that uplink thing and then you make cut a w small okay come on come on all right so I think we we kind of matched it here but the uplink is just ridiculously big so we want to make that smaller and the code aw smaller as well so that looks pretty cool and then you want to control j on the code aw or whatever you have on the top and then write your third word down here my third word is called aw uplink uh beast no i don't know beastly yeah beastly whatever okay you guys you get the idea 
or I'm just gonna write beast. Yeah, let's write beast. You guys get the idea. You don't have to match my words, obviously. But uh, but yeah, so let's just make those bigger. And then let's show you how we can add that nice little text effect I usually do in this thumbnail size. So I, I like to put like the middle world word. I like to emphasize it as I said. So I just make, uh, I put like a random layer style for now. And then for the beast, I'm just gonna add the same layer style, which I'm gonna choose this for now. And then the code AW for this for now. So they those two have the same layer style. And then for the uplink, I'm gonna switch the layer style into something else, something more unique, something more original, other than those, just to emphasize it as I already said. So let's see if you guys if we can get a nice little style here. If you guys want like layer styles, you guys should go check out the description because I have like a very, very good layer style pack. If you guys want to go download it, go ahead and do that. But for now, I'm gonna use this layer style. Has uh, it's I'm pretty sure it's in the pack. So if you guys want to go download it, check out the video. But you guys can use your own layer style which is what I recommend use your own layer styles because it would look better if you guys use yours so yeah so I'm just gonna add this nice style here looks looks pretty dope I, I actually like it if you guys as I said if you guys want to go download it do it but I might like mess around a bit with this because I I like adding my own stuff to this one it's so, like make it like somewhat there that looks good come on uh, I want this to be a little lighter Okay, so let's see how it looks. Uh, oh, that looks dope. I like it. All right, there we go. We got my layer style. And then now you guys might be wondering what's next. Okay, we got our every single thing ready. What do we want to do next? Well, you want to first thing you want to do is that when you make sure everything is cool, you want to uh, press on all of them and then rasterize type when they're that means they're rasterized right now so you really can't change them no more so uh, if you guys did it by accident and press control Z but yeah so when you rasterize them it would be much easier to move everything you want to make the uplink or the word in the middle somewhat uh, like over the over them because I'll tell you guys in a second but yes that kind of looks nice I think okay does this look nice I think that look that would look nice Okay, and for Beast and Cod, I'm, I might make Cod a W a little bit smaller, just so it emphasizes the uplink. Because uplink is pretty much the main thing here, what, uh, what we're doing right now, because you know uplink, you know. And then Beast, I think Beast as well. So now what we want to do is make uplink, press Control T, and then go to this arrow kind of thing arc over here. And you just want to make it like this, kind of emphasize it even more. Just to like, you know, because really that's the main word you want. You want your viewers to catch their eyes. And trust me, this will catch their eyes. Like, it's, it's, it's freaking beautiful, guys. And then since we can go like this, and then Beast can go down a little bit. Okay, beautiful. Now you want to go press on the uplink or the one in the middle you tried to emphasize. Press control and press on its, uh, on its cam or whatever it's called. Like press on this picture and then while holding control and then press click and then it, sh it should show that if you did it right go to select and then go to modify, expand and expand it by around 4 or 6. I'm gonna expand it by 6 this time and see how it looks. And then you want to go to beast and then delete. And then call it AW and then delete and then it will show that nice looking effect here. You see that kind of like looks clean, makes it professional, looks and makes it look dope. And then you, once you're done, at least once you think you're done, what you want to do is just go press and control E all of them. So it looks kind of dope. Like this, look at this. It, I think it looks better than most of my thumbnails I ever did. All right. So when you're done, you want to press control T and then add like those little effects that make it count. So like maybe do like this. I don't know guys, I, I really don't know, but like those those are the, just like the tiny details that makes uh, makes a huge difference. So if you guys want to go like play around with this, um, I like it. And then you could press control T and then while holding control, it'll make it look like that. So it looks kind of dope as well. Uh, let's make it around here. That, look, that looks kind of nice. On second thought, no, that doesn't look nice. I want to make it like just a tiny bit like that. And then I'll place it right here. I you could place it in the middle, which would look also good. 
Yeah, let's place it in the middle. Oh, that that actually looks stunning. I really like this. And now once you got your text effect, everything is ready. You want to go on onto Google and then like type in the picture you want to do. So it really does depend on your uh, on your actual thingy, on your actual text. So if your text says uh, thumbnail and you put a picture of Call of Duty, it doesn't make sense. If you guys want to put like a thumbnail, put a picture of your thumbnails. But uh, but like for for example, right now I'm I'm playing. Uplink, I said uplink, so I'm gonna get a picture of uplink, the view image, save image as, and then save, and then you wanna come get it here, drop into, into Photoshop, and then when you get your image, you wanna put it like under uplink, but above the human saturation, make it into soft light, soft light makes it look dope, and then turn the opacity down a little bit, because we spent too much time on this, at least I did, I mean, no, not me. The, uh, the actual content creator spent too much time on this to try to make it look stunning and it does look stunning in fact so like you want you don't want this you don't okay this doesn't look good whatsoever all right like, this doesn't look good all right and then when you add this this looks good this is what you want but you want to turn the opacity down there we go looks stunning if you guys want to make it like right here looks nice something i forgot to do is add like the actual drop shadow because drop shadows does make a huge difference on the text so when you're all done you want to go to spread like make it a little down and then make the size bigger that make it look at look at that it makes a huge difference in actually making it like pop even more so because you guys want to catch the thumbnail or the like viewers attention right away so you just want to go like right here and then they'll look nice or you can put it in the middle press control a and put press here and here that would make it look in the middle a bit more so it looks kind of good and then now we can turn on this which i said is useless in the beginning but uh but you know what let's uh let's see what what we did here all right so we got our particles oh that looks dope i like that why did i say it's useless I'll take that back. Ooh. Starburst. I don't like the Starburst, though. The particles does look dope. So if you guys downloaded it, then... Uh, like, that, that That looks good. I like this. So use the particles, because uh, it looks amazing. Look at this. Okay, so this looks amazing. The last step I like to do is just control e all of them, just so I can, like, get it out of the way. And then press on your layer, press on P, which brings up your pen tool. You want to press here, and then press here. And then you guys know what I'm gonna do, right? And just go around, make it like in the middle, and then right click, and then press fill path, make it white, 100% opacity, press OK, and then press delete path, turn the opacity down around 8 is good, and then make it like a drop shadow right here. Okay, that, that looks nice, guys. That looks amazing. I really like the look of this. Cod AW Uplink Beast. So, it's probably like Uplink Beast Cod AW. I just wrote anything. But you guys get the idea. It looks stunning. It looks amazing. And, uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. As I said, it's 740 right now. How much did I spend on this? I spent around 13 minutes. Not that long, so I didn't waste too much time of your... I didn't waste too much time of your, like, valuable life or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like and a comment and subscribe to me. This channel is new. I'm trying to rebuild it. I'm trying to get, like, into 500 subscribers by the end of 2016. So, hopefully, we can break that goal. It's gonna be tough, but we can do it, guys. Trust me, guys, we can do it with this amazing qu quality. Like, look at this. Guys, you want this in your thumbnail. You guys want this. And, uh, and yeah, so if you guys want the text effect, it's gonna be, or the text style, you guys hit me up and tell me, okay, we want that text style, we want that particular text style, hit me up. And, uh, and something I forgot to mention, actually, is, like, you could turn the human saturation now, and then see what you get, so, ew, that looks, that looks terrible. Actually, it looks, it looks good. I don't know, I don't know. If you guys want to mess around the use sat and saturation, it does look good. But yeah, so if you guys don't know how to save it, just press Control shift s and then go to JPEG, and then desktop, then save it there, press OK, and, uh, and, yup, it's right here, boys, so let me just put it here, okay, there we go, looks stunning, thank you guys so, so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, and a comment, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Ah, oh, congratulations me, I finished the video.